Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you are watching Vegas Net TV. It's Maria Noe with the Strip View Live Success Talk Show, and I'm at the International Hospitality <laughs> Week, and I'm with Canada's best chef, David Adji, and hey, Kevin Brush. You. Bravo! Oh, yeah, Canadian. You. Do you speak Canadian? I do speak Canadian, but uh, I have the A's and the thank yous. They were knocked out of me years ago in the States. <laughs> That's yeah. what they do to you. That's yeah. um, I, you know what? I have a one page of my passport, the Canadian passport, that allows me access into the country until 2012. So when I'm down here, I try and run it like a like an American. Yeah. You just try like, to blend. Like a Yankee. Yeah, I'm trying try, to blend. Try dude. to blend. Yeah. What we do. Don't say I'm sorry. What we do. Yeah. Yeah. Don't say south. Yeah. South. 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 Bathroom. Okay. See, I yeah, say yeah. bathroom, and people go, "You're from Florida." Yeah. I'm like, "No, I'm just <laughs> looking for the bathroom." I'm like. Yeah. Although there are a lot of well, Canadians in Florida. A, there's you a lot ask of Canadians. for serviette often. Yes, yeah, <laughs> serviette. We don't know what serviettes are here. Well, okay, let's talk about what you're doing here at the International Hospitality Week. You both tag teamed for a very unique opportunity. You did a keynote address. How did yeah, that go? It was awesome. We talked about some uh, some trends. With Kevin and I, uh, both having traveling shows on the Food Network, we log in bazillions of miles a year. Yeah. Never and it, together, though. Never been together, except for Iron Chef America. Iron Chef America and here. And if anybody saw that to see the big flame when I blew up, it was actually Kevin that put the lighter in the burner. I found that I, out I just him. today. I punked him. Threw the lighter in there to see if he could blow me up. Seriously? Everyone thought it was Ashton an accident. Ashton couldn't make it, so he said, Kevin, do this <laughs> do this to Chef. And you know, I, I saw him once in Toronto at a hotel that we like to hang out at. And I was trying to send him over my Belgian fries, right? And that, But they were so gosh darn good. I you were trying to good. send me over your tab. No, <laughs> just the French fries, Chef. It was like. You can't send a chef french fries because then he'll think you don't like his french fries. Yeah. And I like his french fries, yeah. if you know what I'm saying. Well, tell me, how did you two then really get together on this and, and start planning to come together for this keynote? Well, we talked, you know, that's the wonders of uh, the internet and, and, and iPhones. Tech tech iPhones and really just getting together. And, and we wanted the, the experience to be as, as organic as possible and not to be, to be stiff. Uh, restaurateurs, nightclub owners, there are peeps. You know what? That we we felt that we could connect with them and talk from the heart and just say, these are some of the things that we're observing out there, if, and if you're observing them too, here's some of the things that we saw the really smart people do to correct that. Not saying that we have the answers. We've just seen the smart people that do have the answers and bringing it to them. David travels for his shows. I travel for mine. There's a, you know you you do a lot of events like this right around the planet. It it takes a while to find really good people and really passionate people that can do it well. And I think I think, you know, not to knock, you know, pat ourselves in the back, I think we do it pretty well. Pretty we good. like doing it, which is important. I think right. if you like doing it, if you don't mind the work, you'll get that message that message out story, right? If you're passionate about what you do, it goes out and people see it, they feel it, they understand it. We hung out for an extra hour yesterday yeah. after our speech. And just, just, and just fielded the questions. I mean, we, did, we made a joke on stage that yeah, we have both sides represented in the restaurant business. We have the liquids, the liquids and the solids, because that's all we're in business. We only sell two things. We sell liquids and we sell solids, and that's it. And uh, people you know, connected with that. It came have you up. done your liquid and solid today, <laughs> Chef? I have done. I did a. I did a toasted English muffin, uh, and I must say, at a at a at a big chain restaurant. But that's all I have. I have my coffee and toasted English muffin. While my companion ate, uh, I think moons over my hammy. So <laughs> moons over my hammy. I've done. I did a solid with an English muffin, but I'm ready to get into the liquid right after this. Uh, I was walking through a casino last night, and I meet one of America's best mixologists. He's in San Francisco, and he's sitting in this casino eating a cheeseburger from a big place. And he goes, Kevin! And I'm like, oh my oh God, my that God. looks like... And I'm going, somebody put something in my drink, because that guy is from San Francisco, and he is a great... And he's eating a cheeseburger. It was just like, oh my God. And that's what happens. But a cheeseburger a che from a big box restaurant? a big place. Uh, a big box restaurant. Yellow oh, oh. paper. All right, well, you guys were heading down the, the path earlier that I wanted to talk to you about was following your passion. Both of you, amazing personalities, you're enthusiastic. 
I just want to you know, hang out with you, and I know that our viewers right now are just like, oh my gosh, I want to get to know these guys. Let's talk about passion. There's so many people out there who are trying to make it, and you know with your shows and people are competing and, and trying to get in and get their foot in the door, it's very difficult for them, especially when they're getting knocked down and people telling them they suck and everything else. What are some words of advice or words of wisdom? Well, I mean, I can speak from the, a lot of chefs, a lot of young chefs aspire to be a chef on television. And um, I always thought I, I kind of flooped into it, but then after seven seasons and four years, I realized that it is just that what you said. Uh, I, I'm not the greatest chef ever, and I know that, but I'm super excited about it. I love doing it every day, and I think that's what put me on television, that's probably what keeps me on television. So anybody aspiring to do that is jump in with both feet, live the life, you know, absorb it, travel, eat, read books, and just, you know, if this is what you want to do, immerse yourself in it, and hey, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die or retire one day, right? <laughs> well, speaking of, the, he already pre-bought Greatest Chef Ever for his tombstone. He told oh, me that yesterday. That it's right there, Greatest <laughs> Chef Ever, David Adji. He, so he so did that. <laughs> I mean, you look, look, chefs aren't as happy as this, and on his show, he's not as happy as this. He's passionate about what he does, and you'd be honored to have a chef like this guy walk into your kitchen and tell you what you're doing right and tell you what you're doing wrong. The compliments, they can come later, right? Really, you have to get down to the constructive matter of why the heck do you want to own this place? Despite all of that in the TV show, this is hard work. It's harder than you think. Yeah. And kids find that out early when they go, oh, I could be a musician, I'll be a chef. They're like both rock stars. Yeah. And then they realize that they got to start going into work earlier than their shift starts. There's no overtime work in the nights, kitchen. Weekends, yes, chef. Yes, chef. Holiday. Yes, chef. Yeah. Your hands become gnarly. Look, look at this guy's hands, man. Yeah. There, there's cuts. There's scrapes. There's you know, calluses. You know, like a guitar player. Yeah. You know, like mine, not so much. Mine are pretty soft. Yeah. <laughs> I got out of the kitchen the early is, and went to the, the bar. Is smooth. The muddler is smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for stopping by on our red carpet today. It's been such an honor and a pleasure. Any other things you want to add to, to can your we, audience? Can I have a double kiss? From, from who? From me? Um, yeah. I've already kissed David before. I was going to say okay. for David. Okay. Okay. Oh, man, that is I'm good thing you're Canadian, jealous, buddy. Man. Thank you so much. Well, continue success to both of you, thank and don't you. go away. Thank okay. you.